Church, good morning. Good to see you. We are live from Joe's Pantry today. Uh, today we are collecting food for Joe's Pantry, and we've been here for a while, and we've had several cars come up already and uh, and get a whole bunch of good food, praise God. And here's Ida. Ida, Hi. say hello. Hi. And there's Pastor Bob. Say hello, Hi, Pastor church. Bob. Miss you guys. There he is. <laughs> Pastor Bob is always Pastor Bob, praise God. So uh, it's good to be with you again. Good to see you on this rainy Friday. It rained last Friday when we gave out food. It's raining this Friday when we're taking in food, praise God. So, but God is good. And we thank God for all those who have delivered food already and all those who are on their way, praise God. We want to thank you so much for that. Uh, we're also giving out food as well. We have a uh, bag lunches. We have uh, bagels that someone donated as well and some uh, milk. So uh, we'll be giving out food as well. Amen. Uh, so if you can get down here between the hours of 10 and 1, that would be great. Oh, that's Bob gave me some of the bagels that we bagged up, praise God. Amen. And so uh, if you get down here and donate food between the hours of 10 and 1, we'll gladly accept that, praise God. And like I said, the more food that comes in, uh, the more we can give out, praise God. And it's a good day to bring food down. Amen. Amen. Thank God for those who came already. Even some people came early uh, to donate some food. But it's good to be with you, as always. As you know, on Friday is a day where we read God's Word. Uh, the other four days, Monday through Thursday, we share, hopefully, an encouraging message. Uh, but today... Uh, we'll, as we always do on Fridays, we're going to read God's Word. There's always a special blessing when we read God's Word. It's blessed to read it, blessed to hear it, always blessed to obey it. Praise God. Amen. Uh, good morning, everybody who's tuning in right now. Hello, Melissa. Good to see you, honey. Elizabeth and Deanna, good to see you guys. Good to be with you again. Praise God. Amen. Uh, so we want to read today. Uh, I'm not going to read it all, but for the next few minutes, Psalm 119. Psalm 119 is an amazing psalm of loving God's Word, desiring Him above all. Praise God. Seeking Him. Uh, and loving him. And uh, I encourage you to uh, be familiar with Psalm 119. There are many, many scriptures that we use all the time in our life, but it's an amazing psalm, like I said, about desiring God, wanting God, especially in a uh, time of need, especially in a time of crisis. Uh, so we're going to start to read in Psalm 119. I'll be reading out of the NLT today. Uh, and if you want to read with us, that would be great. Praise God. Amen. Uh, but let's begin. Let me Let me pray first. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for this day of life that you have given us, Lord God. Father, may we use it, God, according to your will and desires for us today, God. We know that each day, God, even in this time of the virus, <clears throat> each day is precious, Lord God. We need not waste one time, one minute, one moment, God, on things that don't matter, Lord Jesus. Today, God, if we're going to praise you. Today, we're going to thank you, Lord God. Today, we're going to follow you, God, and desire your word more than ever before, Lord God. Father, show us your will for us in this day, Lord God. We here at Joe's Pantry, God, are just taking the food to give out to the poor and those who need, Lord Jesus. But wherever we are right now in our homes, God, show us what to do this day. What is your will for us this day, God? How can we bless somebody this day? How can we take care of somebody this day? How can we let somebody know that you love them this day? So, Holy Spirit, go before us and show us what to do and what to say and how to do it, God. We know we're, we're limited space-wise, God, but we're not limited, God, spiritually, God. As we always say, God, prayer can go where we can't, Lord God. And your love can go surely where we can't, Lord God. So, Father, thank you that your will be done today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor Bob. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, let's begin to read in Psalm 119. Again, I'll be reading out of the NLT today. Uh, we'll probably uh, do half. It's quite a long psalm. We'll probably do half today and half next time. Uh, but let's start to read that together. Psalm 119 at the NLT. <clears throat> Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. They do not compromise with evil. They do not, uh, and they walk only in his paths. You have charged us, Lord, to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Then I will not be ashamed when I compare my life with your commands. As I learn your righteous regulations, I will thank you by living as I should. I will obey your decrees. Lord, please don't give up on me. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have tried hard to find you, Lord. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. I will delight in your decrees and not forget your word. O oh Lord, be good to your servant, that I may live and obey your word. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. I am only a foreigner in this land, so don't hide your commands from me. 
I am always overwhelmed with a desire for your regulations, your word, Lord. You rebuke the arrogant. Those who wander from your commands are cursed. Don't let them scorn and insult me, for I have obeyed your laws, God. Even princes sit and speak with me, uh, speak against me, but I will meditate on your decrees. Your laws please me. They give me wise advice. I lie in the dust, Lord. Revive me by your word. I told you my plans and you answered, Lord. Now teach me your decrees. Help me to understand the meaning of your commandments. And I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I will weep with sorrow. Encourage me with your word, Lord God. Keep me from lying to myself. And give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen to be faithful. I have determined to live by your word, Lord. I cling to your laws. Lord, don't let me be put to shame. I will pursue your commands for, uh, for you expand my understanding. Teach me your decrees, O oh Lord, and I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions, God. I will put them to practice with all my heart. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways for your regulations. Your word is are good. I long to obey your commandments, God. So renew my life with your goodness. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can answer those who taught me, for I trust in your word. Do not snatch your word of truth from me, for your regulations are my hope, Lord. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments, Lord. I will speak to kings about your law, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands and how I love them. I honor and love your commands, Lord. I meditate on what you say. Remember your promise to me. It is my hope, my only hope. Your promise revives me, Lord. It comforts me in all my troubles. The proud hold me in utter contempt, but I do not turn away from your instructions. I meditate on, uh, on your age-old regulations. O oh, Lord, they comfort me. I become furious with the wicked because they reject your instruction. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. I reflect at night on who you are, O oh Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commands, Lord. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. So be merciful to me, Lord, just as you had promised. I pondered the, the direction of my life, and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay, God, to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored to your instruction. I rise at midnight to thank you, Lord, for your just word. I am a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. Oh, Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. You have done many good things for me, oh, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now teach me good judgment and knowledge. I used to wander off until you disciplined me, but now I closely follow your word. You are good and do only good, so teach me your decrees. Arrogant people smear me, smear me with lies, but in truth, I obey your commandments with all of my heart. Their hearts are dull and stupid, but I de delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and in silver. You made me, Lord, and you created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you in, the, uh, in me have cause for joy, for I put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me, just as you promised me, your servant. Surround me with your tender mercy so I may live, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commands. Let me be united with all those who fear you, Lord, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees, and then I will never be ashamed. Lord, I am worn out waiting for your rescue, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes are straining to see your promises come true. When will you comfort me, Lord? 
Sometimes I feel like I'm shriveled up like a wineskin in the smoke, but I have not forgotten to obey your decrees. How long must I wait? When will you punish those who persecute me? These arrogant people who hate instruction have dug deep pits to trap me, but all your commands are trustworthy. Protect me from those who hunt me down without cause. They almost finished me off, God, but I refuse to abandon your commandments. In your unfailing love, Lord, spare my life that I can continue to obey your laws. Your eternal word, O Lord, stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness extends to every generation, as enduring as the earth you created. Your regulations remain true to this day, for everything serves your plans. If your instructions hadn't sustained me with joy, I would have died in my misery. I will never forget your commandments. For them, God, I, you give me life. I am yours, Lord. Lord, rescue me. For I have worked hard at obeying your commandments. Though the wicked hide along the way to kill me, I will quietly keep my mind on your laws. Even perfection has its limits, but your commands have no limit, Lord. O oh, Lord, how I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for they are my constant guide. Yes, I have more insight than my teachers, for I am always thinking of your laws. I am even wiser than my oldest, for I have kept your commandments. I have refused to walk in the evil path, so I may reign obedient to your word. Oh, I see that we have a problem over here with the internet. We probably need to end at this time. Uh, if you can hear me, please continue to read Psalm 119. Amen. And we'll be back again soon. Amen. Oh, that's...